the latest injury news, uh, semi-update on Jamar Chase, and much, much more right now on CBT. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in. I'm James Erpine of BengalsTalk.com. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Join the 45,000-plus Bengals fans that already subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for more, of course, check out BengalsTalk.com. Today, well, today was filled with, well, questions, some injuries, and a lot of defense. Let's start with the injuries. Brad Robbins uh, left today early on during warm-ups, appeared to suffer a right quad injury. Zach Taylor said they're still evaluating, so we'll see there. Right now they have Ryan Rakow, or Ryan Rico, excuse me, as the lone punter uh, not named Brad Robbins on the roster, and who knows? We'll see. Hopefully it's not too serious for Brad. And it, it wasn't just Brad. Jake Browning, also out dealing with a rib injury, going to miss some time, according to Zach Taylor. And Jamar Chase, for the first practice of camp, wasn't out there. And I'm not going to speculate, but Zach Taylor called him day-to-day. -day. So we'll see. I don't know what that means. It could just mean he's day-to-day -day like he's always been day-to-day. -day. It could mean more. It could mean less. I'm not going to speculate. I'm just telling you exactly what Zach said. But I'll give you exactly what Zach said. Here's what Zach said after practice. More day-to-day. -day. Uh, we'll take it one day at a time. I don't have any comment beyond that. Uh, B.J. Hill had a baby. He'll be back tonight. And uh, Jake Browning has a rib issue, and, and he'll miss some time with that. Troy Walters got punts. We don't have meetings tonight. Okay? So, appreciate it. Uh, not yet. Not yet. That happened at the beginning of practice, so we'll find out more information about that tonight. So, we'll see on Jamar Chase. But there you go. Those are your injury notes for the most part. D.J. Turner did appear to suffer a foot-slash-ankle issue in the middle of practice. He was going up for a ball against Kendrick Pryor, and Geno Stone was in the area as well and landed sort of awkwardly. We'll see if that's serious or not, but uh, we'll keep an eye on DJ Turner. He was working on it on the sideline, uh, so hopefully it's nothing too serious with the Bengals joint practice with the Bears in just a couple of days. But let's get to practice because it was a defensive-heavy day, like I said, and what I mean by that is the defense dominated. Outside of a pitch to Zach Moss that went for a big gain, maybe a touchdown if he gets past Geno Stone, the offense struggled. Joe Burrow struggled. Joe Burrow looked frustrated. And maybe it's because T. Higgins had a rest day. Obviously, Jamar Chase hasn't practiced. And maybe that's it, is you're just so limited weapons-wise. Uh, maybe he's just frustrated with the fact that he threw an interception today. In fact, it was, yeah, just one. Because then the uh, third-string quarterback as well, uh, Logan Woodside, threw a, uh, an interception. But Joe Burrow did throw an interception, threw it behind Andre Yosevash on a slant. Yoshi was open. Josh Newton was able to get in there, knock it up in the air, and Joe Bocci was the one to intercept it. So overall, uh, a bit of a struggle, I would say, today for the offense. Probably the worst they've looked in camp, realistically, and much like on Monday, if you combine the two sessions, I just think that there weren't many guys getting open, and, and, and I think that that's the real concern is the fact that the, you know, and there were times, by the way, over the past couple of days, especially yesterday, Kendrick Pryor had a nice touchdown. Andre Yosevash was getting open in the middle of the field. But today, it felt like things had closed in a bit. And the offense uh, certainly lost to the defense. Now, some other notes. Daxel still working with the first team. Looked good again. Obviously, I just said the defense has had a lot of success. So we'll see there. Trey Hendrickson had a, a sack or what would have been a sack. Zach Carter uh, was in on that play as well, but I would say Trey would have gotten there first. Uh, there was also a play that was blown dead that Burrow probably gets sacked but ended up scrambling uh, for a couple of yards. So the defense just kind of won the day, and uh, as, as far as where reps were being distributed, Jermaine Burton did get uh, a, a look with Burrow in the ones, didn't catch a pass with the ones today, did have a touchdown yesterday in, in the goal line in the red zone area. So this Bengals offense searching a little bit, Obviously, we saw them go out there and play at a really, really high level, and they didn't have T out there today, and so that matters. So uh, I, I think Zach Taylor could feel the frustration on Joe Burrow, feel the frustration uh, on the offense a bit, or just on the team outside of maybe the first-team defense. And so they ended practice today with punts to Troy Walters, and Troy Walters was able to field then the Bengals wide receivers coach, which not a shock. He was uh, a punt specialist back in the day, wide receiver for many, many years at the pro level. We have a ton up today, including T.R. Tart. Should they go after them? Should they go after him? Should they not? 
interesting interesting stuff there as far as the defensive tackle room is concerned so make sure you check that out and then enter the jungle tonight 8 eastern andrew and i discuss a bunch of stuff including joe burrow from saturday night our reaction to him jermaine burton i go one-on-one with daxo and much much more tuesday night at 8 eastern that's tonight if you're watching on tuesday on cbt it is called enter the jungle so hit that subscribe button ring the bell and until next time i'm james rapine thank you so much for watching cincinnati Bengals talk